So in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to create a curve navigation button like this one. So you can see how nice this looks here. Yes, yeah, so that's what we'll be creating today. Okay, so in what we have to do next is to bring in this dependency. Okay, so we copy this, then we quickly come in here, bring in our um, pop dependency, then we, we paste this here, then we just click on the pop.get to bring in our dependency. Okay, so it's pretty easy, right? Okay, yeah. So now what we have to do next is we have to make sure that you are using the scaffold widget so you don't mess out what we are doing, okay? So the scaffold widget brings in um, another property called the bottom navigation bar. So when you put this in like this, you can call your curved navigation bar this way, okay? Then now inside here, we are going to pass in an array of widgets, okay? So that will be for our icons. So here we can bring in our icon, okay? Then our icon will be of icons dot. Then let's bring in a couple of icons, okay? So let's say this, let's give it a size 50. Uh, and let's give it a color, okay, of colors dot white, okay? So let's bring in a couple more icons. So let's say home. Let's bring in. Uh, okay, so we have this. So now let's run application to see so far the outcome of application. Oh, okay. So now we can see our our. <laughs> this is looking a little bit funny, but. We can quickly achieve this by simply changing the size of it to 20 because you can see it's too big. Okay, let's change this to 20 and let's change the color of it to let's say black. Okay, let's rerun our app and I think we should have something nice. Okay, perfect. So now we can see we have our nice looking animation which is quite slow and to reduce the duration of it. It's not a big problem at all. So we can quickly do that by bringing in animation duration. Then we bring in our duration. Then pass in milliseconds of 300. And let's save this. And let's see. So now you can see it's, it's fast. So it's, it's, it's more faster than what we had before. Now you can see there's a whole lot of space down here. Okay. That is also achievable by bringing in our height property let's pass in 50 okay perfect so now you can see with just a few lines of code we've been able to achieve um, a very nice looking um bottom navigation a curve bottom navigation right so now what else can we do so we can quickly assuming you want to change this to your pages okay inside the application what you can simply do is bring in a, a function called the on tap okay this you can uh, write in your anonymous function so this on tap will have a property of the index okay that's giving you the current uh location of giving you the current location or selected so you can either bring this or let's just take it out okay and what we can do is let's just print something on the screen to know where we are so we can simply write the uh, current page is okay and let's just bring in our index like this so let's pull let's pull this one up and let's see the logs on the screen okay so now let's click on this and you can see it's showing this is one this is two and this is zero so you can see them here so this is what you can use to set your current page so assuming you want to change your screens okay as you want to change your screen here you can use this figures to change your screen which i'll be teaching that um in my other tutorial so you can uh, keep keep out for that one okay so now what can what else can we also uh add here or bring inside here so 
there is also we can also add the animation okay so we can also add a curved animation like this then we can simply achieve this okay by also calling our curves does a built-in flutter animation um designs then we can use any animation that we want here so let's use bouncing out for this okay <coughs> then okay so you can see our animation has now changed uh and it's looking very 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 good okay so what else can we do so it's a couple of things that we can also add like the colors if you want to change the colors down here to suit your preference there are a couple of properties that you can pull in your application to use them so for example we have the color okay we have the color like this and let's see what the color is okay so we have the color we have um the background color okay uh let's use deep purple and we have the button the button background color too uh yeah let's 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 use blue for that one so that we can see the color difference okay okay so now you can see the color difference so this 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 is how you can uh change your colors to suit what what you like okay so mostly what i mostly do is i use the background color of the scaffold okay to show in here so that you see the shift the um the little pattern that we are missing here will make it look good so let's let's just change that one and see so let's change the deep purple to blue and you can see it's looking good all right you can see it's looking good already so yeah so that's all i wanted to show you today in my next video or two i'll be showing you how to change your current screen based on um the button that you select okay so thank you so much for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe and like this video thank you